while back ago i made a video about the best way to play pubg mobile on your pc that video did pretty well and got something like 160k views on youtube by the date of uploading this video in that video i showed the method to play pubg mobile on your pc using phoenix os but lots of people were not able to install the phoenix os properly onto their pc so to solve that problem in this video i'll be sharing with you guys a detailed guide about installing phoenix os on your pc properly if you are a regular viewer of this channel then you will find this video helpful so guys begin the actual guide we need to understand what is phoenix os phoenix os is a personal computer system based on android operating system which can be installed on devices like phones tablets laptops and desktops and even mac computers so everything work as a computer but based on android system it's just like installing an android phone on your pc that means you can download any android app or game on it just like an emulator but the main difference between emulator and phoenix os is that the phoenix os has better performance on low hardware that simply means you will be able to play android games smoothly on low end pcs and yes this will make your computer a dual boot system so just make sure you have a backup of the operating system that you are currently using Okay guys, now let's finally start the actual guide. So guys, the first thing you need to do is to download the Phoenix OS setup. To download the Phoenix OS setup, you need to click on the link provided in the description box so it will be the first link. Once you clicked on that link, you will be right onto this page. Once you reach here, you want to click on this I am not a robot. This is basically a human verification. So once you are done with it, just scroll down a bit and then click on this skip option. Then you have to wait for 8 seconds. Once this is done, scroll down again and click on this get link option. Once you clicked on that, you will be redirected to a different website. This is basically the official website of Phoenix OS. Here you will see bunch of different downloading options, but you want to click on the first one. So click on this. Once you clicked on that, you will be redirected to Mega Cloud Storage. Here you can actually download the Phoenix OS setup. So just click on this download option. Once you clicked on that, your downloading will start. It will take some time depending upon your internet speed. So just sit back and wait until the downloading is finished. Once you successfully downloaded the Phoenix OS setup, the next thing that you want to do is to install it on your computer and make it dual boot system. So to do that, you just have to double click on the setup. Then it will ask for the permission. You have to click on yes. Then you have to click on the install option right here. Then it will ask you on which drive you want to install the Phoenix OS. Select the drive which has more storage, at least something like 16 gigabytes of storage. Then it will ask you how much storage you want to allocate to the Phoenix OS. You can select any of this, it depends upon you. I will go with 16 gigabytes. Once you selected that, click on install. Now the installation is started and it will take some time. So just sit back and wait until the installation is completed. Once the installation process is completed, the next thing that you want to do is to click on reboot now option. Once you click on that reboot now option, your computer will be shut down and it will boot into the Phoenix OS. This process will take a huge time, so just sit back and don't try to turn off your computer. Once the booting process is completed, you will be right here. Here you want to change the default language to English. Then you have to accept the terms and conditions. Then you can set up the Wi-Fi connection if you want.
And after doing all this, you will be into Phoenix OS. This is how you can install Phoenix OS on your PC. The first thing you want to do when you install the Phoenix OS is to change the default keyboard to Gboard because the default keyboard is something like Chinese and you will be not able to type anything with that keyboard. So to do that, you just need to go to settings. Then you have to go to language and inputs. Then go to virtual keyboard. Then click on manage keyboard. Now turn on the Android keyboard and turn off the default keyboard. This is how you can change the default keyboard to the keyboard. Once you've done that, you will be able to sign in to Play Store, download any app or game like PUBG or Call of Duty and play it on bigger screen. The last thing that I want to share with you guys is how to switch back to Windows. To do that, you just have to switch off the Phoenix OS, then start your computer again. Now here you will get two options, first one is the Windows, second one is the Phoenix OS, select the Windows one. And this is how you will be able to switch back to Windows. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and if you did then be sure to smash a like to this video. Until then keep watching Repixel and peace out.